Hi everyone, in this video we're going to add a custom IDP to our ignition gateway. Uh, in this case we're using Auth0, but you can use Okta, Active Directory, um, Azure, Active Directory, Ping, or any other IDP, well many other IDPs, to use uh, to authenticate into Ignition. So you don't need to use the Ignition IDP that comes with the installation. You can, for example, if you have single sign-on implemented in your organization, use the same credentials to log into Ignition as you do other applications. So here it is in practice. Um, you're greeted with this screen when, when you launch a session. There is a way to bypass the screen and go right to and go right to the IDP login screen. If you change client here to login, uh, it should take you right to this screen. So if you're using like a system perspective navigate, you can bypass this screen and go directly to the IDP. In this case, we're going to log in here. Okay, oops. Sweet, and you can see Auth0 made sure our credentials worked. So the first time I typed in the password incorrectly and it caught that. And then when I did type it incorrectly, it redirected me back to my session. And then I can go about in my project. So if you want to learn how to set it up, stay tuned and we're gonna get, jump into it right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So there's a few preliminary steps you need to take uh, to use any IDP. So Okta, Auth0, Okta actually purchased Auth0, I believe is in the past few weeks for six and a half billion dollars in stocks. Anyway, that's besides the point. First thing you want to do is log in or create an account, sign up for Auth0. For Auth0, um, Auth0, as far as I know, has a free tier, but Okta doesn't. That may be wrong. I don't know. Look into the pricing. Um, but there is a free plan here with 7,000 active users. That's more than any of the integrations I do would ever need. So I'm going to go with the free print, free plan. I actually created an account already. Let me log in. Let me log in here. Um, okay, once you log in, once you create an account, um, the first thing you want to do is add an application. So let's go ahead and go to click applications on the left hand side and then we're going to create application here we'll call it ignition idp uh, choose an application type as far as i know this is only for the quick start suggestions for code samples so as far as i know it doesn't really matter what you what you choose here but we're going to go ahead and choose regular web application since that's the closest um, and then go ahead and create this so you can download here code samples if you're using traditional web technologies, but we don't need to download any of this. Let's go to settings here. Um, okay, so all these settings look good. This application login URI, if you look, if you look in the documentation, you can see here. Uh, there we go. I'm going to change here my gateway address. I think I can use localhost since it's on this computer, 8088. And then you need to add this here as well into the allowed callback URLs or else you will be getting an error when you try to log in. So let's go ahead and save this. Save changes. Okay, we have an error here, payload validation. Um, HTTPS URI, okay, let's try here setting this to HTTPS. Mm. 
Okay, maybe. Let me actually type in my local IP address, 192.168.1.29 for my maker installation and save changes. Okay, changes have been saved. Let's refresh. Okay, an easy way to import these settings into your um, into your ignition gateway is to go down to the bottom of the page, hit this advanced settings here, uh, and then you can go to endpoints. Oh, hold up. Yeah, okay, open ID configuration. This is what you want. Uh, go ahead and copy this, and then let's log into your ignition gateway. So this will be different for everyone, obviously. Not sure why I just need to quantify that. Let me go ahead and delete this here. Uh, let's create a new identity provider. Um, it's gonna use the open ID connect, uh, a layer on top of OAuth too. This is what we want. This is a little older as far as I understand. Go ahead and select open ID connect too. Uh, we can name this auth, uh, oh, auth zero and give it a description. Okay, the cool thing is now that we can paste our metadata um, URL here that you get from. So go to your application and then scroll to the bottom, expand advanced settings here, and then go to endpoints, open ID configuration, copy this URL, go back and paste it in here, hit import, it'll import your settings here. Import all these URLs. That way we don't have to put them in manually. There are there are a couple more settings. So client ID, client secret wasn't pulled over, which makes sense. We don't want um, our client ID and secret to be sent or to be viewable because if you copy this here and open a new browser, it's just a JSON object and it'd be very easy to intercept. Anyway, so let's go ahead and find, there we go. There, here's our client ID. So copy that. Client ID, paste in here. Um, and then client secret, copy this. Paste in here. Okay, let's go ahead and save. So now that we added this identity provider, let's go ahead and test the login. Okay. Um, So let me try using my login. We might need to create a user. Okay, so it looks like our user doesn't exist. Let's go ahead and close that for now. Let's go back into Auth0 uh, and go to user management, users. Uh, let's create a user. Um, Thurman Merman at gmail.com. Okay, create a password. Here we go. Okay, here's our user. Uh, and then we can reset our password, I'm guessing, from here. Anyway, let's go back in here, refresh, make sure we're still authenticated and test the login again. Okay, so that here we'll put our user now. Okay, and then we want to accept. I don't think you're gonna have to do this step every time, just the first time. Okay, and then we have a response. Test login. It looks like we logged in successfully. Okay, so now say you want to use this IDP for a project. How would you do that? Well, uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and open your designer. This is the easier step if it's configured correctly. This should pretty much be a few settings. So say my inductive university sample project, I want to set the IDP 
to be to authenticate through auth0. I want my project to authenticate through auth0 instead of Ignition's built-in IDP. So how would you do that? Well, you can go to project, project properties, uh, and then in the general section here, you can go to identity provider here and select your identity provider. It'll, it'll show up. If it doesn't, you may want to merge new changes from the gateway. And then you also want to check your permissions. We'll see. Uh, this shouldn't require a password, so I won't, I'm going to set it to authenticated that way. Uh, the users actually have to log in. Let's go ahead and hit OK, save here. Let's see if we have any views. Um, no, we don't. And let's map it to this view. OK. Save. Launch URL. OK. Here is our test. We're going to log in. So I'll show you. Logging in, it redirects you here. Here, Thurman's going to log in. And, and they are authenticated and they're allowed into the session. So I was wondering if there was a way to bypass uh, the initial ignition login. And there is sort of a way. Um, so it is in the works. I was reading on the forums about custom IDPs and they did say that they're going to eliminate. So by eliminate, I mean, so if you open a new session and browse there, they're going to eliminate this first page. That way you get redirected to the auth zero login page right away. You can actually change your client to login and right away. Okay, that was weird. I think I was already logged into this browser, something like that. Uh, but they're, they're working on it. They're working on uh, not having you click that first ignition screen where it says continue to log in. Because right now, if you go, I was talking about this graphic earlier. So right now what happens is the user hits an, an ignition login. It authenticates through the IDP and then it goes back to the ignition login and then the users uh, gets into the session. Uh, it's pretty inconsistent. I don't know why sometimes I hit the ignition login, uh, the IDP, and then the ignition login again. And then I just hit continue to login and it takes me to the session. Or sometimes I hit the ignition login screen, I hit continue to login, it redirects me to the custom IDP, so Okta or Auth0, and then I get redirected to the session. So it's inconsistent, I don't know why at the moment, what, why uh, one way happens. Um, oh, I don't know why, what caused it to happen one way or the other. But that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments or on Discord if you want me to expand on this and um, create some API calls to Auth0. That way your user management can still be done from Ignition. So instead of having to log into Auth0 and have administrator logins for your HR people or however you want to set up your business, uh, you can have a page in perspective with the correct roles set up. That way uh, managers and supervisors can add users to Auth0, but through perspective and just use uh, an API call, send it to Auth0, set up the user so that way they can log in. Uh, let me know if there's any interest in that or if this was helpful. Again, like I said, Okta is very similar. Um, I did that one earlier this week and it pretty much carries over. Both of them are the same. The thing you want to watch out for is the pricing and just what your needs are. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to watch my crappy content. Um, shout out to Mike for buying me 10 coffees. And um, yeah, leave a comment, check out the Discord, 
and I'll see you in the next video.